So this was uh, about a year ago, because right? I yes. normally walk here in summer bare feet, uh, particularly on these cobbled pathways. No more bare feet, eh? No, no, no more bare feet. I can't afford bare feet now. It's apparently laid by Italian prisoners of war. So I always feel very humbled walking on this. It's such a beautiful creation. So one of those days, uh, I was walking, I think it was a Sunday, quite an early morning. Uh, there was a team of workers with a tractor and they were probably having a morning break. And there was a supervisor who looked at my feet and looked at me and I just thought he was appreciating my toe rings and I walked off. And then he said, uh, I wouldn't walk bare feet here. So I turned back and then I said, why not? If I don't walk bare feet in Kirsten Bosch, where the heck can I walk bare feet in Cape Town? Well, we spray, that's what he said. Even then, my trust for Kirsten Bosch was so overwhelming. I thought, hmm, they must be using some organic sprays. I didn't bother, and then I just walked away. Lo and behold, recently, this year, my daughter, who's a university student, she was walking with two of her friends, and she saw a man in a space suit and with all his mask and, and the in a pump going with his uh, canister and she looked at the canister and the canister had it written round up that was it it freaked me I immediately put the two stories together and the estate managers response came basically saying yes we do use roundup its name the registered name is called cleanup the ingredient is glyphosate it's harmless for people and in the environment and the lady who was walking bare feet, maybe the supervisor asked her so that she won't injure her feet. That was his response. And uh, I wrote him back basically explaining, these are the dangers of glyphosate. And I said, can we not think about this issue again? Weeds are part of nature. Do we really need an expensive weedicide that is creating a groundwater toxicity and uh, kidney and uh, liver problems. That was what all of those case studies basically were showing. They're having bioaccumulation in the kidneys and the livers. Uh, the encephalatros uh, yeah. seem to be getting a lot of brown spots and I've noticed a lot of encephalatros here dying. Uh, and I wonder whether that is anything to do with the glyphosate. I don't know, it's a broad spectrum, uh, we decide. So In the end, uh, all our biodiversity will be gone and we'll probably have only super weeds. Who knows? Because, uh, you know, this is, this is something which has not been tested for that long. Uh, at Kirsten Bosch, they've just started it. If they're spraying on top, you know, how is it not possible? The spray and the toxins are not coming down basically through this water and then all the way down into the uh, spring. I mean, how is it not possible that it doesn't go into our groundwater aquifers? Uh, they're saying that it doesn't really pollute our aquifers and they're saying it doesn't really contaminate. But what guarantee? We have no clue, we have no proof that it doesn't accumulate in the groundwater and it doesn't go. Isn't it time that we start re-educating our visitors? And what's it called? Unpolluted. It's called Colonel Bird, Bird Are you doing a film here for no, me? No, no, no. <laughs> no, we, we are just... Uh, it only looks one, like it. You know, we're just... You know, you, you, Meandering. No, we, we are talking about the water and the pollution and you're saying it is totally no, unpolluted. No, there's no pollution. At one time, I <laughs> think you were allowed to throw the um, points in. Do you know the, they spray these gardens? The, they, no, they don't. They do, round up. Monsanto. Oh, do they? Yep. You feel and it ends up here. It ends up all over. So that's, you know, we are, we are working on that. That's what this film is about. Oh, I see. Yeah. A place like Kristen Bosch, which is supposed to be a world uh, heritage site, one of the most beautiful gardens uh, on this planet, is using Roundup. This is where our biodiversity, pristine biodiversity of Cape Floral Kingdom. And on top of it, South Africa, we have ample labor force. We do not need an instant weedicide. We can actually retrain some of the staff 
to start looking at weeds, you know, what is part of the weed as an overall interconnected system of nature. We could do so many things, but he never responded to my letter. And uh, so now I'm at this stage where I've decided I'm going to launch a petition to Human Rights Commission on a citizen's interest case. We have a right to walk bare feet. We have a right to drink water here. Why do we spend taxpayers' money you know, on this Monsanto, which is going to contaminate our water and contaminate you know, our own bodies, create a lot of problems? It's violation of our basic rights. I need to walk bare feet. You know, it's just my birthright. And drink water, drink water from the springs. This is basically the tragedy of the commons. We are reliving the tragedy of commons here in this part of the world after 20 years of independence.